I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about me doing all these, uh, particularly those songs, but the other ones of sexual innuendo. I, I haven't always been a sex symbol. I'll come clean now. And in fact, I was always brought up to believe that women didn't enjoy sex, and I eventually found out they just didn't enjoy sex with me. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the only time I ever feel like doing it twice is just before I've done it once. <laughs> All these women nodding down here. Uh, but I must be honest, I would um, put the blame... I will put the blame for this on my father. <laughs> because when all the other lads were being told things by the father when they were 13 and 14, when the equipment arrived and that, my dad left it till I was 19. And he thought, he, he, he thought well, I'll work my way up through nature's tree, you know. And, and he started off gradually, like with plastic flowers. <laughs> and moved up through hamsters and chickens and by the time I was 22 he'd gone on to dogs. And for two years after that I used to go around pubs sniffing at women's bums. <laughs> I was very popular in Scunthorpe and the North East and places like that. But I have, as, it, as it comes to <clears throat> all the fellas, I eventually, uh, what's the word, cracked it, you know. And I took this young lady back to my pad, which meant my mum and dad were out. <laughs> and uh, I bought her three crates of gold label barley wine. Liquid knicker remover. <laughs> <clears throat> and after I got through it and, you know, done the, f I thought, well, all that fuss and that, all this worrying, and I, I'm, I'm marvellous at it. She loved it, you know. And uh, I found out the next day she was epileptic. <laughs> <laughs> but I do a bit better now, and I've read all these books that you can get, and they tell you all the things, and I, I always make a point of talking to my wife after making love. The, and it's a bit difficult if I can't find a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always worth <laughs> the effort. But this is a song to do with all that sort of thing. It's a song about sin. With so many sins available, where do you place your interest? I know a chap who couldn't choose between arson and incest. The constant pains of indecision gave his brain a blister. So in the end he compromised and set fire to his sister It's no use you pretending there can only be one winner So roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, everyone's a sinner Oh mother cried the nun, I've sinned by sleeping with a mister You must go and suck a lemon, she replied to the plundered sister Will that redeem my soul and leave me free from all disgrace? She said no Brit White, that stupid bloody grin from off your face Modern girls all like to know just what they'll get before they wed him So nine times out of ten they'll show a tendency to let him Each night they'll sow their wild oats with any rampant male Next day they're on their knees just praying for the crops to fail It's no use you pretending there can only be one winner So roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, everyone's a sinner now the seven sins of man can be traced back to Cain and Abel From murderous intent right down to farting at the table If I could sum the whole thing up with something thoughtful and profound I'd say the blame doesn't lie with the apple on the tree but the pear that was on the ground It's no use you pretending there can only be one winner So roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, everyone's a sinner Thank you very much.